How do I get my inbox back on iPhone? Have you ever opened your mail app on your iPhone only to find that your inbox is missing? This can be really frustrating, especially if you need to check your emails urgently. Let's go through some steps to help you get your inbox back. First, let's check if it's a simple issue with your internet connection. Make sure your iPhone is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi or cellular data. Sometimes, a lack of internet can prevent the mail app from loading your inbox properly. If your internet connection is fine, the next step is to restart your iPhone. This can often resolve minor issues with the mail app. For iPhone 8 or later, press and hold the volume up and volume down buttons, then hold the power button until the Apple logo appears. For older iPhones, hold the power and home buttons together until the Apple logo shows up. Another thing to check is if your iPhone's date and time settings are correct. If these settings are off, it can cause problems with the mail app. Go to your iPhone's settings, then general, and make sure the date and time are set correctly. If the issue persists, it might be related to your email account settings. Try deleting and re-adding your email account. Go to Settings, then Passwords and Accounts, find your email account, and tap Delete Account. Then tap Add Account, and follow the prompts to re-add your email account. Sometimes the All Inboxes option might have disappeared after an iOS update. If this is the case, you'll need to navigate through each email account's inbox individually until the issue is resolved. However, this is more of a temporary workaround. If none of these steps work, it could be a software issue. Ensure your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS. Go to Settings, then General, and check for any available software updates. By following these steps, you should be able to get your inbox back and start checking your emails again without any hassle. Remember, if the problem is more complex, you might need to use a professional tool or contact Apple support for further assistance.